beautiful flower. Don't let that pretty flower fool you. She's hiding a secret. Oh, it stinks. The flower smells bad. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the least smelly and 10 being the smelliest or the stinkiest, I would rate this to be 7. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. Oh, Crassula! Springtime, oh the fly, even the fly likes it. Look how beautiful the flower is. So Crassula, I haven't featured a lot of my Crassula or Crassula as I prefer to call it in my videos, but Crassula, springtime, I put them in my Master Second and Soil mix and I think they still need a much compost soil, composted soil than what I'm giving them. And they do take uh, a fair bit of watering and if you don't water them, this is what's going to happen. This is my Crassula or Crassula perforata. That's really, really dry. Look, but it's so pretty, the colors. Even with the sun now, it's really bad time to take a video, but I got no choice. I got an appointment this afternoon, so I've got no time. So I have to do it midday. This is about lunchtime now. And so it's dried up. You can see the leaves are all dried up. So this one now, you can see that's all really wrinkly and dry pluck that out from there and hang on come here and what I do with this one oops I got a snip here okay have coffee first ah okay snip snip let's go from say where there's sort of green there you go see look at that that's still green and what I do with that one waste well, not want not I always say okay oopsie Where's the right end and the wrong end? So that one's really dry there. So maybe just till I see green. Ah, so that way, that one's got green now. So this goes down like that and that goes like that. And even with this one now, I can just chop. And I'm not even going to remove the stem that it starts with that one. So that way, that way, that way. And I'll show you what happens if you... Oh, I lost it. I moved it somewhere. But anyway, oh yeah, there you go. So this is the same plant that I just stuck in there. And then now I'm going to continue. See, look at that. <laughs> look at the difference. So that one is now plump up. And because it's out in a protected shady area here, I'm just going <clears> to, <throat> there you go, stick it there. And this one too. Did you hear the noise I just made? <clears throat> Okay, I make a lot of funny noises. There you go. So, leave it there. Water it whenever I can. And since we've been getting a lot of rain forecasts, rain after, so uh, tomorrow, the day after, and the day after that is overcast. And after that, rain. 16 degrees, 13, 12 for the rest of the next week. So this is now eight days later. Let's go check it out, see what happens if they've got roots. Oh, uh, that one has got, look, see the little white tip? But there's a tiny little root on the end there. Okay, put it back. And this one, it's healed up. I'm just going to see. There you go. A uh, One root, look, one. <laughs> one little root sticking out. One, one, one. See that white on the tip? There you go. So that's only after uh, eight days, eight days. So we're still going to leave that. I'm not even going to bother this one because I know they're going to grow. And the center, look, the center is all nice and plumping up. So it will start from the center and move its way outwards into the fat leaves. So if we're going to get the rain tomorrow again, forecast rain again tomorrow, then they would love it. Grasula Trolls Necklace. So this is actually a beautiful plant. This is the bigger version of the baby necklace. Look at that gorgeous, beautiful plant. Grasula Rupestri subspecies Marniriana cross Grasula Perforata variety Cogayensis. 
in short, Crassula baby snackless is a bit dry and this one now I'm gonna say this is on my advanced soil mix I'm gonna take out this whole plant now because that needs to be watered Ooh. ah okay and I'm gonna show you how I watered this one the last time I watered this was in February it's now October and there you go isn't she pretty Oh, look at those cute, tiny, small little things there. Oh, that is just delicious. And it's finished flowering. The flower, just remove it like that when they dry up. And look, see a little baby on top? They will just come off easily. No, don't even need to cut, look, because that's really, really dry. You just go like this. So cleaning up will just be really quick as I just go through like so. Okay. Uh -huh. So I won't worry about cleaning up. I'm just gonna soak it up. Now this one here has been soaking for two days. I'm just touching. This is my seed grown Lilacina or Lilacina. Okay, just a bit of... Hang on, you got aphids there? Okay, remove the flower stalk because you don't really need that you only need the flower to see well for me anyway just to identify it if I don't know the plant because uh, the flower tells a lot as to the variety of say a trivia now so this one oh it's just so gorgeous so that's plump up enough it could still do with another week of watering but I'm just gonna take it out now for now you can go back there and I need to replace this uh, water. So this water now, I actually soak a couple of plants in there. So I'm going to take this and tip it out into my lemon tree. The lemon tree loves it. And I'm going to get some fresh new water. And this is now a step-by-step -step guide on how to <laughs> water my crassula. Wash that off and put the water into the crassula dubia. Oh, which, actually that one, is about to flower as well. Look at the flower. The flower looks similar to the springtime, but this is a very frost hardy plant so it can probably take minus 20 well it's taken minus 11 so far that's the lowest temperature it has taken that one is really 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 good hang on watering i'm forgetting again okay and watering as per usual i'm getting my soil wera. i don't use just one brand i use different brands sometimes i use sea salt sometimes i use Garden basics, oops, that's probably a bit too much, but doesn't matter. We just put more water in. Normally you put um, 50 ml for 10 liters. That's what I use, but... In this case, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So, my pot is quite high, so I'm putting a lot more water here. So I've got probably about one, two, three, about three inches of water level. And the pot that I put it in has got a narrow mouth. So it sort of bellies out on the side, so you can see that's so beautiful, beautiful pot. Anyway. Uh, that one, and it's got a big hole in the bottom. So, I'll put this one in here now. Oopsie. And I'm going to get my scooper thing and water it. And I am going to leave this here for a couple of days. So it just keeps watering. And there's a car driving past, noisy. And... We're going to listen for air bubbles. There you go. It's actually, there's movements. I can see air bubble movement.
So if you're watering your pot and it starts to froth up like blue, 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 blue on the surface, that means there's air pockets uh, in within your soil and you need to remove those air pockets. That way the roots will have even distribution of water. Because if you have dry pockets here and there, the plants are gonna hate that. Some plants, what happens is some plants will look healthy, others would look really, really, really um, dry. And you'd wonder why some section of your plant is healthy and some section are dry. It's because of those air pockets. So you have to remove the air pockets. It's now over 24 hours later. Let's go check our baby necklace. Oh, you see that? They're all nice and fat again, look, and firm. Okay, let's check. That one, just maybe a slight, very, very light softness. But otherwise, they have all been nicely uh, plump up. There you go. So that's it. I'm going to put it back now. Where it... Okay. It belongs to. Let me just get rid of all the stuff first. And hopefully I don't drop it. Because if I do, I'm going to end up with a lot of babies. And a broken pot. <laughs> and I don't want to break this pot. Because it's a beautiful pot. Okay. She's back in her spot now. Are still dripping but it doesn't matter those are water in the bottom do need a bit of watering and now she's gonna stay there again for the next few months because summer is coming on we still have another month of spring left and after that summertime she'll just go to sleep until autumn